Hello, welcome back to the channel. Matt here with more lenses. In this lens review, I'm going to compare five focal lengths and the smallest Leica M mount glass available for each focal length. Five focal lengths 21mm, 35mm, 40mm, 50mm, and 90mm. And for each of those five lens lengths, I will show you the smallest lens available for your Leica M camera. Stay tuned and I'll show you side-by-side -side comparisons of popular lenses against the smallest lenses available. So all these lenses are like M mount, but they're not all Leica branded. If like me, you bought a Leica M camera because of the small form factor, I kind of, I've gone out of my way to, to find the smallest lenses for the Leica M system. It's nice to have fast lenses such as an Octolux, but equally if you want to use a Leica M system to the maximum, I think the small form is a really important part. So I'll show you a normal size lens, a Leica M mount, and then I'll show you a the smallest available Leica M mount of each focal length. Let's get started. So the first focal length I'm going to cover is 21 millimeters. This is the first 21 mil lens I bought for the Leica M system. It's a Carl Zeiss Biogon ZM f2.8 lens. I'd say that's reasonably standard size. What I've done, I've brought my Summerlux 50 millimeter f1.5 as kind of a benchmark for all the lenses I'm going to compare to. So this is our benchmark. Here's a normal sized 21 millimeter lens. I bought this for weddings because it's an f2.8 so it's quite fast. But then I wanted something smaller for travel so I looked for the smallest like an M mount 21 millimeter lens. The smallest 21 mil M mount native M mount lens available is the Voigtlander Color Scope R 21 millimeter f4. And look at the size difference between the it's half the size of the 21 Biogon. Yes, the Biogon is an amazing lens. It is very sharp and nice contrast. But the Color Scope R is also excellent, sharp with good contrast. If you don't need the extra stop of light, the uh, little Voigtlander is one of the smallest lenses available. At the end of the, if you wait to the end of the video, I'll show you all five of the smallest side by side to show you the ultimate smallest lens available for like M cameras, camera mount. So smallest 21mm Voigtlander 21 color scope R. Next we have 35 millimeters. Now I could have kind of showed extreme, extreme ends of the scale because I've got the Voigtlander 35mm f1.2 and that's roughly the same size as the summer looks. It's a big lens, it's a heavy lens for 35mm, but to make it a fair test I brought kind of a middle ground. This is the Voigtlander Nocturne Classic 35mm f1.4 and it's a nice size, slightly larger than half the size of the summer looks. So it's a good walk around, walkabout lens and it's f1.4 so it's really useful in low light. But there is a smaller 35mm lens available in M mount. The smallest Leica M mount 35mm lens that I know about is the Voigtlander Color Scope R 35mm f2.5. Now that really is tiny. Now for 35mm I've got another lens which is also tiny but it's, I don't believe it's a native M mount so I'm giving the award to the Voigtlander Color Scope R as the smallest M mount. 35 millimeter lens just for completeness because if you see my blog you know I've got this lens if you look on mrleica.com I also use a Summeron like a Summeron vintage 35 millimeter f3.5 now width wise <coughs> and height it is smaller than the Voigtlander, but I believe this is a modified like a thread mount lens. The award goes to the Voigtlander Color Scope R 35mm f2.5. High contrast, quite flare resistant because it's a modern lens with um, coatings. Sharp wide open, so no, no complaints. 
The next focal length is less popular in the Leica lineup, but I've included it because the Leica CL came with this lens as a standard focal length. So the next focal length I'm going to look at is 40 millimeters. The first Leica like, MAT lens I ever owned was the Voigtlander Nocturne Classic 40mm f1.4. This is about, again, it's a lot smaller than the Summerlux f1.4. So if you walk around all day, this is a lot nicer. Obviously it's not quite as sharp wide open. And just to give you an idea quickly, 40mm Voigtlander Classic 35mm. 35 millimeter Voigtlander classic. The 40 mil is very very tiny a bit um, longer but otherwise pretty much near identical. So is this the smallest 40 millimeter lens for the Leica M? No there is a smaller 40 millimeter lens. Well there's kind of two. I only own one so I can only show you the one I have available but I'll mention both. The smallest 40mm lens I have is the Minolta Rocker M 40mm f2 lens. This lens is commonly found when purchasing the Leica CL camera. The Minolta Rocker M 40mm f2 lens is pretty much identical to the Leica Summicron 40mm f2 lens. When I was looking to purchase a small Leica M mount 40mm lens for my Leica CL, I did a lot of research and I chose the Minolta Rocket M version 2 over the like a Summicron because it's got more flare resistant coatings so I needed a lens where I can shoot it wide open in bright conditions and not have every photo kind of with like a veil of haze over it because it drops the contrast so much and I like the contrast in my images. The, Voigt, the Leica Summicron 40mm is pretty much the same as the Minolta Rocker 40mm and so as the size difference the Minolta is smaller than the Voigtlander so the smallest 40mm lens for your Leica M camera is either a Summicron 40mm f2 or a Minolta Rocker M 40mm f2 if you like if you prefer to buy the Leica brand then get the uh, Summicron if you prefer more contrast, get the version 2 Minolta. Okay, next is a popular, very popular focal length, probably arguably the most popular focal length, especially for Leica M cameras. That is 50 millimeters. Back to our standard benchmark, the summer looks. What is the smallest Leica M mount 50 millimeter lens? The smallest lens I own is the Leica Elmar. 50mm f2.8 collapsible lens. This lens is small because it collapses into the camera body. When it's in use, it's more of a normal size, but the reason you buy lens, the advantage of having a small lens is so you can, when you're carrying it, it is small. When it is packed down, it is really compact. Just to give you an idea of modern lens, a small modern lens, the Leica Summerit f2.5 50mm is quite a bit more compact than the Summer Looks, so it's more of, say, like a middle ground. If you don't want to buy a vintage Leica lens, then a modern lens which isn't crazy expensive, which is smallish for a 50 it's smaller than the Summercron, it's smaller than the Summer Looks, it's obviously smaller than a Nocta Looks. That's the reason I bought this originally. If you want modern, super sharp, wide open, small-ish 50mm lens, the Summerit 50mm Leica is a good option. But it obviously it's not as small as the Leica Elmar. The Leica Elmar is an older lens, so it's going to be less sharp, wide open, and more prone to flare. So just to kind of bear that in mind. Of the 50mm I have, the award of the smallest 50mm goes to the Leica Elmar collapsible. The last focal length to look at is the 90mm. 90mm lenses can be quite large. I recently tested the Leica Thambar 90mm f2 lens. If you look in the Leica playlist, I can link the Leica playlist, you'll find that video. The Leica Thambar is a similar size to the Leica Summicron 90mm f2 lens. This is a pre 
a spherical lens with the extending hood and this is the largest Leica lens that I own. Largest Leica M amount lens that I own. Obviously if you're using a Leica SL system or Leica S system the, the lenses start to get quite big. I'm only really focusing here on Leica M mount uh, lenses or M mount glass. So if this is my largest lens, here's our benchmark. You can see that by design 90mm lenses seem to be quite difficult to make small <laughs> in terms of they didn't make this stupidly big just for the sake of it so there, should, there must have been a reason to make this lens this big just as a comparison 35mm lenses tend to be small because by design they're easier to make smaller so if you want a comedy comparison 35mm, 90mm this is why my 90mm f2 lens gets less tr model trips gets less trips abroad for model shoots even though it's a fantastic lens I can carry probably th three other lenses or this lens if I'm trying to pack my bag and I've got limited I've only got limited space so for that reason although it's an amazing lens it doesn't get used as much as it should which is why as my years with using Leica has, has kind of progressed I really focused in more and more on how important size is for me in terms of the smaller my setup the more I'm going to use the setup and that's why I went from the Leica M240 as my main camera to the digital Leica CL mirrorless I just love the small form as well as some of the other kind of features that come with it so st standard ish 90mm lens <clears throat> if you get the this being an f2 lens it's going to be bigger than say an f4 lens like a like an Elmar lens is probably it's still going to be bigger than this but bigger than the 50mm summer looks but they tend to the older lenses tend to be narrow and quite long so if this is my largest lens and I wanted to find the smallest possible 90mm lens like an M mount glass to travel with you need to get this how amazing is that? Half the size of the Leica Summicron 90, the Leica Macro Elmar M 90mm lens is smaller than a Summilux. This is a really good lens. So like the Elmar we looked at before, the Elmar M Macro lens is a collapsible design. So when it's not in use, it's packed down small and it's it's almost the same size as a small 50 mil. The lens, just to point out the lens, <clears throat> so when the lens is in use, you extend the lens, making it obviously larger, and then it comes with a lens hood. With the lens hood attached, it then becomes a slight it then becomes a larger lens setup. It's catching up its brother, the Summicron. But if I extend the Summicron hood, the, the Summicron still wins as the largest by far, and it's heavier. Maybe one thing to be aware of, because the like a Macro Elmer M lens is a modern lens, it has modern lens coatings. So for that reason I find I don't really need the lens hood. I use the lens hood more on the, it's a 39mm fit lens hood. So I use this on the vintage Leica Elmar 135mm f4 because that's an old lens, it flares more easily. So that benefits much more from having a hood than a modern lens. And also it makes the packable size of the 90mm macro Elmar smaller if I've got no hood and it's collapsed. Just to recap, we've covered the five smallest lenses I'm aware of in the Leica M system. I'd like to think I'm aware of most of them. Um, I spend a lot of my time looking for them. So to recap, the smallest 21mm available for a Leica M camera in M mount is the Voigtlander Color Scopar 21mm f4 lens. 
the smallest 35 mil is the again Voigtlander color scope R 35 mil f 2.5 lens the smallest 40 mil like M out lens is either the Minolta Rocker M 40 mil f2 or the Leica Summicron 40 mil f2 the smallest Leica 50 mil lens I own is the in M mount is the Leica Elmar 50 mil f 2.8 collapsible lens and lastly as we've just covered the smallest 90 mil available is the Leica macro Elmar M 90 millimeter lens f4 so that's the smallest lens for five different focal lens that I use for the Leica M system these probably are the smallest as far as I know if they're not please um, comment in the comments below and uh, tell me and other people if you know of smaller lenses just so I'm not kind of miseducating people if you want to see what these lenses can do I'll include five links to the five lenses the five smallest lenses in the description video description below and that will take you to a write-up for each lens with example images there's no point buying a small lens if you don't like the image quality so I think if you're in the market to buy a small lens first you need to see if you like the images and um, that's how I buy lenses if you want a small lens for your like M camera here is a like M camera you may also want to consider the Leica CL camera because the Leica CL is the smallest Leica M camera so just as a real world comparison my most used lens is my Leica Summerlux 50mm f1.4 so I use this as a benchmark on my Leica M6 Classic so if that's a standard maybe Leica M system look how small your setup could be if you switch to a Leica CL with 40mm lens both are obviously full frame being film cameras it's called a Leica CL or a Minolta CL the CL is worth considering if you like small lenses because there's no point in having a for argument's sake Leica M3 which is the heaviest Leica M body that I own with a tiny lens on because the benefits you're getting from having a small lens is offset by the extra weight from the camera body if you really do want a true like a setup for travel with interchangeable lenses I would highly recommend considering the Leica CL or the Minolta CLE CL or CLE slightly different cameras but same form factor with one of these cameras you could have the 21mm, the 40mm and the 90mm M mount lenses for a three lens M mount setup for travel and it will give you wide, it will give you like a normal and it will give you telephoto. The CL has got 90mm frame lines, 40mm frame lines so that's two covered and then all you need is a um, hot shoe 21mm viewfinder that you usually get when you buy a Voigtlander 21mm lens just to be aware of the Voigtlander viewfinders are excellent hot shoe viewfinders so as well as you're getting a tiny lens you also get a really nice viewfinder which you can then use with a different 21mm lens if you need more light and you're not bothered about size I've already done a review on the Leica CL but it makes sense to mention it here because I don't think there's any point having super compact like an M mount glass if you're not also considering a super compact like an M mount body M mount cameras obviously have their place just to uh, cover myself if you want precision focusing and fast lenses get something like a like M6 like M3 for film camera for a film camera like an M body setup because the rangefinders are much more accurate and you need the accuracy of the rangefinder for the fast glass 
if you're using a slower lenses and wider lenses, you don't need such a precision range finder. So having a smaller range finder compared to say like an M camera is less of a problem if you're stopping down and say taking photos for travel. So as soon as we can, as soon as I can get out of my next trip, if I'm using a like M system, this will probably be my go-to setup. 21 mil, smallest 21 mil, smallest normal lens, which is the 40 mil, either Summicron 40 or Minolta 40, and the smallest 90. That gives me telephoto, normal and a wide, and a compact like an M body. And I think that is pretty much the best setup for a small Leica system for traveling. I hope you found that useful and here are the five lenses. What holds the crown as the smallest like M mount lens I have? The smallest when mounted is the Leica Elmar 50mm f2.8. The next smallest is the Coloscope R 35mm f2.5 followed very closely by the Minolta Rocker 40 millimeters and the Minolta Rocker 40 is smaller than the Voigtlander 21 f4 scope R and obviously hasn't really got a chance in terms of the, the smallest but for a 90mm lens the smallest 90 is the Macro Elmar M You're not limited to using like an M mount glass on a Leica camera. A few other cameras also have the Leica M mount, such as the Minolta CL, which we've talked about, or Leica CL film camera. And then also you've got things like the Voigtlander Besser R3A and some of the Voigtlanders as two obvious examples. And now with the modern digital cameras, especially with mirrorless, you can buy an adapter on Amazon and use all these Leica lenses like a M mount lenses on your Sony mirrorless camera or your Fuji or whatever camera, um, micro four thirds I use it. These lenses are my Lumix GH5 for example. So I hope you found that useful. If you like this type of video please like, share, subscribe and then I'll know to make more of these videos.